everyone, and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This is episode 5. Last time, we entered the Aventa District on our way to the Clockwork Mansion, and we have finally made it to the residence of Kirin Jindosh, and I guess we are going to try and find him in this place. Uh, we've just entered. We have a audiograph, which we can listen to as we enter. Is he prepared for our arrival? Is this a welcome message? Welcome to my home, stranger. The door is always open to those with the will to pass the threshold. If you're here by appointment, then proceed and bide your time. Otherwise, I'd be remiss if I didn't inform you about the defensive mechanisms employed here, which are quite formidable. Many have entered without invitation for reasons as myriad as the fish in the ocean. But of those who've dared to explore further, very few have found their way back out. Very cool. So, I take it the clockwork minions are at work here. There's our welcome and our warning. Interesting, all right. Uh, yeah, we have an appointment. Deep Rift Watcher. Yes. Let's get eldritch about it, why don't we? There are such strange and wonderful things living down in the deep. Now a squid. Yeah, the whales and giant squids and magical properties of whale bones. We have a typewriter. Clockwork soldiers sold at auction. At an auction held by Kirin Jindosh, the Grand Inventor offered for sale two of his latest contraptions, marvelous clockwork soldiers the likes of which have never been seen. The mechanical wonders sold after fierce bidding for an astonishingly high price. Never before has the wealthy class been able to protect themselves and their holdings with such vigor and style. Prior to the auction, only the likes of Duke Luca Abel and more recently our new Empress could enjoy such protection. Having seen a demonstration arranged by the genius natural philosopher himself, I was witness to what his clockwork soldiers can do. Woe to any trespasser or villain who crosses their path. I dare say Kirin Jindosh has discovered a way to end crime altogether. Through fear. We cannot investigate these. Configuration lever. Alright. Don't touch anything that seems suspicious if he's got defenses in place. Let me have a look around before we make any uh, rash moves. Right. We will investigate first. Okay. This room moves. The room moves. I'm assuming that lever has something to do with it. What is this? Horse! Look at that. Okay, wooden carving the horse to laboratory. Okay, it looks to me as if the lever is the only thing that we've got here. Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. Would this place be any different had I not passed from the world? And we got bone charms and runes in here too. Nothing down this way. There's no chance that a letter to any of my friends could reach Dunwall right now. Oh, and there's a speaker here as well. Okay. So, I sense a trap. Our next move? Spring the trap. Who would build something like this? And why? Wow. Ah, someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house. 
Jindosh. My home is always open. It's one of my great curiosities seeing how the common mind navigates these shifting rooms. I'm Karen Jindosh, but you must know that. Before you stands an invention that will endure beyond my time. The Jindosh Clockwork Soldier. Marvel at the Clockwork Soldier's hardened metallic skeleton and razor-sharp blades. The miniaturized whale oil tanks are spread across the frame and hidden behind protective amber wood panels. Visual awareness in the front and back. Auditory detection in case the head unit sustains catastrophic damage. My greatest creation. I invite you to continue, stranger. Just come up the stairs. Meet with me face to face in the upper hall. Okay. He's happy to meet with us. Right on. Dude. completed another full instruction set. The machine has completed. So I see the eye in the back of the head, the camera lenses, that's really cool, and it's right, very intimidating. It's blocking this doorway. I expected the courtesy of seeing you by this point. Yep, yeah, but I'm looking around your place. Open and mess around with display cases. Display back after the final field test. Huh. And saw him fall. So the machine talks with his voice, like recordings that he's done. If this plays, the machine is recharging the magnetic coil. The way that the room moved around me was very cool. A storm coming. Okay, up the stairs then. Let's do what he asks. You're almost there. Come into the gallery so I can see you. You're not here. You're just watching me via cameras. Still idling. Take this opportunity to- You're surrounded by the individual components of my greatest creation, the Clockwork Soldier. Now, I think I understand. Individual components. I invite you to meet me face to face. Come over to the glass door. You're in the upper hall. We're definitely testing this man's patience by looking at absolutely everything <laughs> that's tucked around the place. It's very cool. One thousand rotations. Reintroducing graphite. <laughs> also, the the voice recording. Okay, the machine has detected something. That's so unique. That's very cool. Providing it's the voice lines is genius. Okay. Looks like there's nothing to be found around the sides there. There you go. I was wondering if we were eventually gonna be able to find something. And we're already full of stun mines. Okay. There you are. Magnificent. Oh. Now uh. that I see you, I worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You've trained with weapons formally, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a bit of back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes. 
your Imperial Majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Damn. Also, the way that that walkway moves, and we saw the model. Oh, okay. Temperature back to normal. Waking up. Playback for combat protocols. Wow. Okay. Combat protocol meet. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Enemy evasion. Playback indicates successful. Lost enemy. Playback indicates a young woman. Armed. Playback for Oh my god, enemy. dude. Dude, the the voices. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Oh my Stand god. Clear. Oh dude, the voices. It's it's so it's such a good idea. But holy shit. Okay, hang on. I need to fight these things. Alternative tactical mode. Combat protocol six. Combat protocol six. That's not a good idea, don't do that. It's a work of screwed leading industry, okay. Um the work of industry. Why isn't this working? Oh, I have to apply it, place it on the wall. I can't throw it at an enemy. Okay, shut it down. <laughs> Getting to know the, the machines. Oh, and we killed. Okay. Um, my brain just went out the window as soon as that happened because it was genuinely so terrifying. And the way that it's just Kirin Jindosh's own voice constantly. Oh my god. Okay. Let's. Uh, <laughs> so when he did that lever, I see what he did. He changed the room. Okay. My god, this is so cool. Clockwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. Temperature wow. back to normal. Wake up. Active state now. Can you drop assassinate a clockwork soldier? Do they talk with each other? This plays. Check central rotor. Increasing oil tank temperature. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh my god, it's oh my god, it still uh it still operates. It still operates. It's just blind. That's that's no. No 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 no. Discharge. No. Stand clear. It still operates. Holy crap. Switching to alternative tactical mode. What? Okay. Mechanism detached. Rare, Rare playback, no doubt. Oh my god, this is horrifying. Like, whatever, I'll kill them all. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, you can, like, throw the piece and, like, move it. So it'll go over there. It doesn't have ears. So, like, it's, it's just disabled now. Oh! No! It has! Okay! Okay, the machine has to 
I'm an idiot. This plays if someone eludes the machine. <laughs> and here I am being like, well, it doesn't have ears. It has ears, somehow. It, it can detect. Um, okay. Playback for detection yep. registered. Okay. So if I move, it just blindly attacks. Huh. Playback indicates... But it's just heavily disabled. How do we, like, properly take it out at this point? Can I, like... I can't, like, uh... There isn't, like, a kill prompt here. Just the rewire. How would we... remove this thing from existence after removing the head? I don't know if you... can't. Always conflict. Power, greed, lust. Okay, uh, what does this do? Why would we give just a hold your hand in mind? One more time. Oh, it takes it down. So you could lure the clockwork soldiers. Oh, that changes the that room as well. Okay. So you could lure the Clockwork Soldiers onto their platforms and send them back. So it puts the, everything back to normal again. I wonder if we... we sh I don't know if it's a good idea for us to go down, but it looks like we can, because I can see the... I can see the power cable. So we actually could... go underground. Alright. Maybe more than one way to deal with him. We'll aim for that. This was, uh, this just totally threw me off guard. Okay, uh, so if I do this, let's take the path down. Ah, the space behind the walls. There you go. So we gotta get Circle of and non-lethally eliminate our man. Uh, so the assessment chamber is this way. So I, I guess we could potentially do Circle of first to make sure that he's okay and safe, and then we've got to leave her here. So simple. Okay, may have to send us back up then. Oh, I went up the wrong way. I was expecting that to take me up for some reason. Okay. This is really amazing. So I guess pressing these buttons will activate uh, opening the roof again. Okay, so he's just chilling up there. Can I get out this way? I have to like why hmm. no because this will these will go down after I activate it. They go back down into the room. So 
like these windows are open. Alright, let me see what happens. I press this. This opens up. This is going away. Um, it's all going away. in the rooftop, but I don't really see a reason to do that. Well, we've turned off the wall of light, so we'll do that. Their detection is, their detection is really interesting. Enemy evasion. Successful. So they can still detect you just walking around like a normal person. It's Conan Nightbirds with an owl. Scream. Absolutely amazing set piece here. On Baker's and Electroshock. My Electroshock machine provides insights into the human mind, though admittedly the subject is damaged or destroyed in the process. The advancement of knowledge is usually worth the sacrifice, of course. Once having tested it on a Baker, I found that I could obliterate the memories of his life and thus his personality, while not impeding his ability to break bake bread. I thought it odd at the time, but it's this exact effect I wish to reproduce in Sokolov. Sadly, I've never been able to reproduce it to my satisfaction. Sokolov, however, is no mere Baker. If he refuses to aid me, it's doubtful that the machine could be used to weaken his willpower without also obliterating the knowledge and capabilities that are so precious to me. Still, the thought of reducing Sokolov to a state of infantile stupor is satisfying. What cruelty is this? With this machine, maybe you won't have to die after all, Jindosh. Oh. Is that not a fate worse than death? This is like one of those like lethal, non-lethal conundrums from the first game where, you, where you're like, oh, it's almost like a mercy to, to do the kill, you know? And to completely turn their brain into infantile mush. But I mean, he would do it to other people. Right, so... will stay locked onto that rune for now. You're quite close now. I can't remember any other visitor getting so far. Do you feel pride? Anticipation? Real last name here over here, by the way. Delilah Copperspoon. Not Delilah Coldwin. Delilah Copperspoon. Take the take the photo for proof. Clockwork Army timetable. Jindosh, I was pleased to hear that the Duke has you working on a much costly, less costly version of your Clockwork Soldier. I saw firsthand what a handful of Clockwork Soldiers did in Dunwall. With many more units, we should be able to assert much more military power following the coup. What truly concerns me is the timetable. When will you be able to give us a date? We have ambitious plans, my friend, and we cannot accomplish them without our grand inventor. Sincerely, Major Nico Falados, first attachment to the Duke. This could be the end of the Isles. Not if I have anything to say about it. Right, what are we be? What are we about to turn this room into? A reflection of my journey to the Pandician continent. He's a fan of Sokolov's writings, eh? Aramis Stilton. Mine Baron. Aramis Stilton. Okay. Let's change this room, baby. Oh. oh. It seems you found my bedroom. Though I confess sleep usually eludes me, my mind won't stop turning. Ha. Huh. God, this is so fun. He's just watching us the whole time. Letter from Duke Abel. 
Kieran, my dear grand inventor, who else possesses such a keen mind? Could any other of my inner circle achieve such industrial marvels? I appreciate how superbly your clockwork soldiers performed in Dunwall, cutting those guards still loyal to Emily Coldwinter ribbons, and Brianna Ashworth claims you've been invaluable helping with her oraculum contraption. Delilah will be pleased. Please dispatch a courier as soon as you have what you need from Anton Sokolov. Press him as you see fit. No methods are off limits. We must find a way to produce your clockwork soldiers in greater quantities. Ramsay and the Crown Killer were just the start. I need to break down Delilah's remaining allies. Jindosh, the Duke, all of them. Let's get it, Emily. Conditioning Sokolov. Sokolov is more resistant to the notion of collaborating than anticipated. He's a stubborn old goat, which could be his undoing unless I'm careful with the electroshock machine. My goal is to render Sokolov pliable, but still capable of assisting me in designing a new version of the Clockwork Soldier. At the moment, each clockwork costs a fortune, but I'm certain my old teacher and I can find a way to reduce the costs. So we're going to put Jindosh to sleep and then put him in the electroshock machine. That seems to be the move. Now, before we proceed... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before we should proceed, um, I'm going to do this. Triggering electrostatic Goodbye. Good, good. Yeah, ow! You can go into the floor now. I've just, I've just said that clockwork soldier into the floor. <laughs> okay, so I've trapped it, but it's still there. Okay, hold on. I'll deal with the soldier first. So it's going to stand there. It's not going to move around. Um, I can get the air assassination to remove the head. Outside of that, I might have to try and engage and try to counter it by blocking and then striking it. Um, what I like about there being clockwork soldiers and automaton type enemies in this game is we get to engage in combat and fighting instead of just pure stealth all of the time. So this is kind of fun. Um, Playback for unambiguous enemy. We're gonna try and fight. Unauthorized presence. Oh, there you go. You can shoot that off. Oh. I just got was killed in one go. Okay. Um, I want to try and block the attack, but if I get leapt on, that's a little bit of an issue. I might be able to just do two bullets to the head, and that uh, that deals with that. Playback for combat. Right, ready? Protocol. We're gonna try. Combat protocol six. Oh God! Can I? Playback for unambiguous. Nope. Okay, so you can block, avoid, and just if you just smack the head, and it looks like you can focus on the weak points. This is power to audio perception. So you can start in get, like getting the weak points by shooting or attacking. Very enjoyable little beast piece of combat here against the Clockwork Soldiers. You can take multiple approaches to them, which I like. They drop an, uh, a part of themselves that you can use to distract them and move them around. Very cool. Now, around here, there is apparently a item nearby. That doesn't sound like a clockwork soldier. You oh! The fuck? Hey. Shit, we've got Grand Guard here too. Okay. Oh man. I'm with you! 
Oh, I got distracted, and then I got shot. I'm like, ah, oh, trying, fo trying to focus two at once. Okay, the Grand Guard are here as well. Um, just if you guys didn't know that, uh, I obviously did. Uh, the Grand Guard are here. Um, be careful, they'll get you. Why didn't they come early? I'm confused. Has entered combat. Oh. Uh, oh. I feel like my head just got cut off. <laughs> Remember, we're on hard difficulty, okay? We take a lot more damage. They get cleaned up real quick. Okay. Um. General detection state. Oh, I see. I see. Stand clear. God damn, that's um, that is really powerful. That one. I'm not a fan. Okay, you have to go for those weak points to get the kill. All right, you have to hit those weak points. Surprising, given your cobbled upbringing. Yes, yes, all right, all right, I gotcha. Now we want to domino the Grand Guard. What? However, if I can't get both, that makes things difficult. Hard times. Hard times. Gotta be on the lookout. Duke Luca Abel. Are you gonna stand there or are you gonna turn around? I'll shut that door oh. for now. Anybody? Huh. Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. You're not even moving. Okay, anyway. Oh, you get a plaque from the clockwork soldiers. that's nearby is not on our level. Yeah, okay, got the rewire tool. There we go. Now we can actually change the circuitry in one. Conditioning circle of. My efforts to fine tune the electroshock machine have been far less than successful, breaking down the more bothersome elements of a subject's personality, such as willpower, while leaving cognition and creativity unharmed has proven unrealistic. Instead, my machine leaves the subject babbling like a child, which is the opposite of what I need from Sokolov. down. Okay, so we can go this way. Oh. I'm trying oh. to... It's, it keeps automatically grabbing that one. There we go. Okay, so... options. That'll be very useful. A locked door, huh? And another room. 
Damn, close to Jindosh though, in the laboratory. Take this opportunity to back up. Do we Do we go for Jindosh first and Sokolov second? Because hang on. Um yeah, Sokolov is not optional. <laughs> so you can render him unconscious, or you can find the electroshock machine. There's two. So you can actually just choose to Oh, hang on. No, it says he must be unconscious in order to be attached to the electroshock machine. Oh, God. So you do have to do both. Okay. Call the elevator. Attaching a grenade here would not be a fun move. Honestly, I feel like there should be lockpicking. You know what I mean? Uh, office, main laboratory. So... Assessment chamber. I guess we'll go for circle of first after all. We're also being observed, I believe. Would he be under armed guard or I wonder? Try and get to the habit of quick saving after I've made a decent amount of progress at least. Nice. Over this side already. Alright, there's a. Uh, yep. Oh, yep. Silly. Silly of me. Bird of prey. I didn't think that she would run to me, but it does make sense because it was almost red, so I should have just waited. Drop assassination for health. Oracular Order Divided. A representative from the Sisters of the Oracular Order and Sokonos paid a surprise visit this week to officials at the Grand Palace, delivering a message that calls into doubt the Order's formerly held position of the illegitimacy of our new Empress, Delilah Coldwell. It seems that there is intense disagreement between the sects of the secretive organization. While not a full reversal, the visit to the Grand Palace prompted the following statement from Duke Luca Abel. It pleases me that our sister of the Oracular Order have come closer to endorsing our beloved Empress Delilah Coldwell. A recent and valiant coup is an attempt at restoring just rule to the Empire, and I advise the Oracular Order and the ever-stubborn Abbey of the Everyman to immediately embrace Delilah as Empress, accepting her wisdom and authority. We thank the Oracular Sisters for delivering this vision, and we call for a day of celebration. Meanwhile, Vice Overseer Liam Bryn, Burn, a speaker on behalf of the Abbey of the Everyman, advises restraint, saying that the latest missives from the Oracular Order are still being interpreted and debate it. Something that I'm actually quite curious about in regards to this as well is um, how different this game would be to play if you didn't do the Dishonored 1 DLC because Delilah would come as more of a surprise. She'd come as a, a shock that she could have the Coldwind name and I think that that's very cool that you could have two different experiences here of how much you know about Delilah going into this game specifically. So that's very cool. You could start to like unearth the truth in this game uh, instead of being like, okay, we know that she's fucking around. How did she get out of the paint? Be careful. This was devised to test the limits of the clockwork soldiers. Quite dangerous. If you're really looking for Sokolov, that old nag is around here somewhere. Okay, our assessment chamber. Grand Guard Man has been dealt with, so it's just this dude. Which I should be able to uh, dispatch of uh, in due time. a cover here, which means I should be able to get a drop knockout. Can I get up here? Mm. Mm. When this plays, check central rotor. So he's 
got guards in there. Has this guy gone? He's just walked off. Was so close just a while ago, but now I wonder if you know where you're going. At this rate, you may never reach me. Oh, yeah, yep. Trying to navigate this place while uh, while we have um, Jindosh knowing exactly where we are at all times is great. It makes you feel like you should take him out first. The Silver Spike, Empress Delilah's secret. Today, risking my very life, I bring you probing questions about our new Empress Delilah Coldwin, or depending on your political leanings, Delilah Copperspoon. Is it true that her mother was a kitchen maid employed in Dunwall Tower? Even if so, that does not prove she was Emperor Yuhorn Coldwin's daughter. If the Emperor did in fact have a second secret daughter, making her the true heir of the Coldwin throne, why didn't he make the proper arrangements? Outside speculation, what else do we know about our Empress Delilah? What can the Silver Spike tell you beyond marketplace gossip? We can date her past, from the time she claims to have grown up in Jasmine's shadow. We know when Delilah's most regarded paintings were bought and sold, but where was she between those earlier times and this year when she ascended the throne in Dunwall? Such a long gap away is suspicious, is it not? No artwork sold, not even an address of record, no neighbours stepping forward with juicy tales from the long period before she arrived in Karnaka just three years ago. Therein lies a mystery worth cracking, dear readers. Her activities in the time before she was first seen with our Duke dear Luke, our dear Duke Luca Abel. Mm -mm -mm. Conspiracy. Uh, the elevator that can go to the assessment chamber as well, guest area and private. Okay. We're in the kitchen. Shall we gather in whiskey and cigars tonight? Jimbrush hardly even touches food. Forgets to eat for days at a time. What good am I if the man won't take a proper meal? I know you're all servants, but I, I don't know if I can trust you. Circle of Needs. <coughs> Note to staff. As you know, we have a special guest in the assessment chamber, the infamous inventor Anton Sokolov. While the facility is not noted for its creature comforts, I expect Sokolov's basic needs and bodily functions to be taken care of so that they never become a nuisance to me. He's just looking. He's just looking right at me. You're just looking right at me. That's right. We'll just we'll just do this. Take no chances. He ate some bad fish, you see, and uh, passed out in a rather untimely manner. Damn this this is crazy. There's a lot going on here. Okay. 
I was like, I feel like I shouldn't be allowed here. Alright, I feel like we should try and do assessment chamber. There's just so much. Deactivate all magnetical and mechanical devices while the assessment chamber is in use. Nothing must interfere with my delicate calibrations. Activate them to mess with it. Okay, so there is this that we can interact with. Uh, forgive me for taking my time and just kind of like processing everything around me because it seems like there's there's there really is like a lot. I think of these. We're moving at last, but where is Jindosh? Uh. Yeah, there's some. Um, there's a lot to take in here, so I'm just, I'm just taking my time, I'm absorbing this. So many things. This house, not the least among them, but I suppose it's my clockwork soldiers I've remembered for. There he goes again. Who do you suppose he's talking to? It explains the delay, at least. If there is a break-in, I hope the clockworks deal with it quickly. We're I'm tired waiting of waiting for, for Jindosh. Jindosh. Leave us be. Oh, okay. So they they just they're kind of chilling. How long we've waited for this appointment? Whatever you've done, stop it. Leave me alone. Who oh. are you, and what have you done? Okay, just chilling. Help! <laughs> so feeling. So if I if you just hang around enough, <laughs> if you just hang around them enough, they go ah. Dear Mr. Hadros, it would be my pleasure to play host to you and give you a personal demonstration of my clockwork soldiers as you take possession of yours. As you must know, the cost is exceptionally high, but once you see one of my creations in action, you'll be unable to resist the purchase. Please arrive on the appointed date between the hours of two and three in the afternoon. It is important that you arrive at the time I've specified, as I might otherwise mistake you for an intruder. Please, I won't tell anyone I saw you. Good. A precise history by the creator himself, Kirin Jindosh, the astounding clockwork soldiers. Dear readers, I have already read this. I'm nobody. Do what anything you want from to me. you. Okay, I need you guys to be quiet now, okay? You guys go to sleep. All right, uh, your appointment has been delayed uh, indefinitely. I am busy. Do not scream. Do not make noise. Dream sweet dreams. I am figuring this out. Okay, so this changes this to get... Ah, okay. Cool. Into the assessment chamber we go, hmm? It just seems like there's so many different avenues to take, whether you go through uh, behind the scenes, through all the rooms, There's there's a lot. I'm gonna need every elixir that I can find. Okay, conditioning Sukhlov. And we read that. If this place, the machine is reach assessment chamber reconfiguring. Standing by. Oh god, okay. Assessment 67. The unit will demonstrate that assessment chamber reconfiguring. Standing by. Oh. Okay, enemy encountered. Yep. Switching to alternative tactical mode. Oh, as long as I sit on it, okay. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. I could get a clockwork soldier to stand on this permanently. That takes a lot of effort. Oh no, there you go. You just have to stand... Okay, you just have to stand on it for enough that it'll stay. Okay, gotcha. Damn. Nice. Okay. Try again. 
Extending exploration of the area. This indicates the search protocol is underway. So it's just the one. Just the one clockwork soldier, actually. And I've got to try and get my way to Anton through all this mess. When this place search is underway. One is blocked. Assumedly, this will be the Anton one. Search playback. The machine has lost its quarry. Lady Emily, was that your explosive that just went off or one of my clockworks? Assessment chamber reconfiguring. Standing by. Configuration B. There he is. Adapting to the habitat. Alright, we've defeated General Grievous. And we've made it. Prototype for depth perception. Okay, we're getting Sokolov first. We made it. The blood topology of Grim Alex. Look at that. So horrifying. Well done, Sokolov. Good painting, huh? Alright, let's reunite with the old man. Sokolov. Note to Anton Sokolov. My dear Anton, I hope the sound of the clockwork soldier outside your cell doesn't disturb your rest. I find the solid footfalls and gentle electric hum to be soothing, but you may be of a different opinion. In fact, in your condition, the noise might be maddening, especially since the pressure plate for the exit to your cell is positioned tantalizingly within reach. But should you attempt to venture forth from the assessment chamber like some wrinkled grey whiskered rat hunting through a labyrinth for a morsel of cheese, you will soon find your stoic guardian bearing down on you. You're an intelligent man. I'm sure I don't need to illustrate what those honed edges would do to your ancient and haggard body. Can it be? Is that young Emily Oh man. Anton, save your strength. I came to take you out of here. Jendosh has bigger plans than you know. An army of his clockwork soldiers. It would be the end. I'm going to visit Jindosh too, old friend. <clears throat> what? Oh. Okay. I see. So this one's also boarded up. So I'm supposed to carry him out of here. So uh, rescue him. So you've taken Sokolov. Now what? <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I threw the old man. Jesus. All right, shall we try that again? Oh, you've taken Sokolov. Now what? You'll be safer in the carriage, Sokolov. Then I owe Jindosh a visit. Oh no. Well, um, about that carriage, I um. I seem to have not taken it to the to the place. Hopefully the carriage has automatically made its way to me. Oh, I see. So that both changes it. So he actually literally has had the ability to escape at any time, but because of the clockwork soldier's antics, that means trouble. Okay, so now we gotta get him out of here. Okay, 
so I can't be... Can't be unarmed. <laughs> I have to have a weapon out while I'm also carrying, which is fair enough. You freed Anton Sokolov. What did you expect? Alright, so this will take us to the carriage. Oh! I didn't realize that there were new guards now. Okay. I can go around this way. I won't be out of far reach with him, right? I can far reach with him, that's nice. I wonder who that was. I'm bringing up the Arc Pylon! Is he coming right for me? Oh. 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 Why are you gonna sit here like this? Alright, should we take the... Uh, should we go up to private? We're going up to the private. Hiding your face intimidate your enemies. Only you conceal your own fear. Oh, oh, oh! There's... There's, um... Okay, hold on. <sighs> um, okay. Well, um. In the elevator. Nope. Anyone here? Show yourself. <laughs> oh man. Um. She's got on. Oh yes, he said Arc Pylon. He said Arc Pylon. <laughs> he did indeed say Arc Pylon, did he not? Yes, he did indeed. Hmm. I'll search with you. Okay, so off they go to search. Um, there was supposed to be a drop, um, there was, <laughs> there was supposed to be a drop knockout there, and that did not happen. Wait, you're, you're supposed to be stunned. There we go. There was a delay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. My word. Okay. There was a delay in the stunning, my lord. Uh, that could have been cleaner. Hey, what happened to you? Uh, let's try this again. So let's see. What was it? He's been choked out. Come on, what? let's have a look around. Okay. Come out wherever you are. Now I need to get the drop assassination this time, but I think it didn't work because I had so glove on me. At times, hard times. Hey, oh, I messed it up again. Okay, let me just grab you quickly. Okay, well, you've just, you're gonna kill. Okay, I'm gonna just. Okay, well, you're all dead now. Okay. There you go. Um, I bounced off them again, which is so funny to me. Um, I don't know why I'm, I messed that up. Instead of being able to successfully. Get the old drop assassinate. Didn't work out for me. Okay, so if we go up to this lift. I can do this and go up here. Stand clear! I'm bringing up the arc pylon! Okay, uh, unfortunately, the arc pylon is up. If I ever get the chance. I'm going to ask for a transfer to the Grand Palace. Why shouldn't I? I deserve as much. 
Maya spent three months over on the west side working near Lady Pinoli. And that's all it took. Now he's a major. Lucky bastard. I can turn off the pylon here. Rewire it. But then it'll get him, right? Yeah. It'll disintegrate enemies instead. Rewired it. I don't feel so bad for the grand guards. Wow, okay. Big painting. Cool stuff in here. Uh, a lot more for us to look at and investigate, but we gotta get Sokolov out of here first. Who's there? Oh, be careful, mate. There's an arc pylon about. I mean, he should be more aware of his surroundings. I love to sit there, smoking and sketching out new ideas. Kieran Jindosh. He's got his own photo of himself in here. Okay. Worst assignment ever. Nothing ever happens. Where are those footsteps there? <sighs> I don't think I can choke while holding a body. But I can do that. Thanks for opening the door for me. A nap. Alright, we continue with Sukhlov. Basics instructions to staff. To my privileged staff, today Mr. Hardross and Mr. Vivienne, uh, sorry, Mr. Hardross and Mrs. Vivienne will be visiting the purchase of a pair of clockwork soldiers. My instructions are as follows. The arc pylon should be stowed beneath the floor. Let's not vaporize our guests. Bring it back up only the, in the event of a disturbance. Lay out refreshments and prepare dinner for after the contracts have been signed. If they grow restless and demand to see me, tell them that I will be with them shortly and escort them to the waiting room. Do not activate the mechanism that lowers the waiting room into the assessment chamber. I will do that once I arrive. Damn. Okay. It'll show them the, uh, the clockwork soldier. Hello. That's good. That's a nice display you've got there. Oh. Why did... Why did it throw him? I pressed X. That's really strange. I genuinely pressed X to open the cabinet. And it threw him. Okay. This seems like a way out. Former Empress on the run! There is no longer any doubt that the recently unseated Emperor Assembly Coldwin is responsible for the recent string of horrible murders. The former monarch is on the run, confirming our suspicions about her guilt and association with the Crown Killer. Indeed, some have even suggested that Emily herself committed the appalling crimes, as it is well known she was raised by conspirators and murderers. The Grand Sakonan Guard has promised rewards for any information leading to an arrest, and warns the fugitive will be shot on sight if spotted. Duke Bell recently stated that the former Empress will likely receive a fair trial if she turns herself in peace and forthwith. Huh. Oh. 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 Wait, what is happening? Wait, what the hell? Okay, shut it down. Wait. Playback for execution of the foe. Are they currently in, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. They're currently in combat with one another. Playback indicates that the machine got out of that alive. 
Aristocratic profile, but hostile. Playback indicates that your back indicates some detection. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Enemy encountered. Okay, the clockwork soldier killed you, not me. Okay, you're still alive. Another clockwork down. Each of those Why are the... Okay. Why? Why? Okay. Why are they all fighting each other like that? Okay, anyway... Anyway, uh, as as planned, okay. Combat simulation room, where you just make them fight. Okay, so this is the yeah, this is the opening room. I see now. I see. Gotcha. I'll be on my way. Cool. Uh, hopefully, the carriage just automatically appears here, right? because we didn't ride the carriage to the mansion. Let's say that those guests that were in the waiting room used the carriage to arrive. Okay, at least Anton is safe. Now, for Jindosh. Okay, the carriage is automatically here. There you go. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, hang on, are you okay? Careful with that sword. Grand Guard won't like it. Oh, why are you here? I heard they're laying workers off at the whaling slaughterhouse. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, alright? You could just be a normal civilian, but what are you doing around here? This is this is the clockwork mansion. Oh, and he's hurt, he's hurt himself. Instructions. Once you've completed your errands, take the carriage to the Jindosh mansion and wait outside. I expect my business with the Grand Inventor will be concluded within the day. Do not keep me waiting. Okay, so he was the servant for the other guy. He brought the carriage, as I as I thought. Um, I didn't trust him. I'm not leaving Anton Suklov uh, under his supervision. Okay, back into the mansion. Sokolov safe, and now we deal with the man himself. So render him unconscious. Take him to the electroshock machine. Uh, re turn him into baby. Reduce his mental state to that of an infant baby. And yet here you are again, back from war. Yeah, baby. All right, it's time. And now, with a vengeance. Dun 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 dun. dun. You can 360 spin. Did you know that? Woo! <laughs> okay, sure. You can 360 spin. All right, let's start getting our items. And we can also take in the sights. You're sleeping. Got the amount of rooms. All of the rooms transform. It is quite remarkable. Stingray fountain. Oh, oh, oh. Do not rouse, sir. Just, uh... Sleep a little bit harder than you were before, you know? Just a little bit harder than you were. That's good. The assess ah, oh, this takes us down to the assessment chamber. Very good. I used to dream of visiting all the far corners of the world. Conductive filaments. Indeed, I have blueprints. Blueprints would be a plenty in a place like this. Letter to Amado Foundry. Please type and send this letter to Nora Amato Foundry. Madam, your idiot foreman just queried me thusly. Will any size do? Any size, he says. No, no, no. The components must be precisely the size specified in my plans. I need assurances that there is someone at your facility who understands this, who will see to it personally that all the parts I've requested will be perfectly uniform, exactly sized, and composed of the requested materials. I will not pay a single coin until I have confirmation my requirements will be met. These parts are not just paperweights for my desk. They must fit together within a larger machine after they leave your doors. I await your reply. Kajin Dosh. Wonderful. My private writing place. Um, 
God. Every time... Every time I do this, I'm like, Ugh. Oh, this is an elevator. Hmm. Oh, it's like a little, like... You can be protected in here. How quaint. I see. Isn't that fun? So many rooms, doing so many things. Waiting room key needed. You got waiting room key on you, do you, lad? Where do you get one of those? There's probably some keys on the guards that I haven't uh, had the chance to properly loot yet. Last floor really throws me. Uh, I know that there are guards upstairs also. Um, how, do I, how do I get there? Pain in the ass. Alright. We're gonna head up to the private chamber. You might think you're going to elite quirks, but you'll only end up teaching me, adding to my studies. Someone is asking uh, for trouble no, there. No. Uh, no. In the elevator! No. What? Ow. Um, what do you mean in the elevator? Ow. Okay, what if you what if you didn't do that? If you didn't do that. You may kill him. You might be. You might kill him. Don't kill him. Don't. Okay. Don't strike him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surviving. I'm a survivor. You know that. You know me. I'm a survivor. Uh, survivor Emily, they call me. Okay. I really do be going through elixirs, but you know what? Um, the thing is with these elixirs is I finished the first game pretty much maxed out of them all the time. So I'm actually happy that I'm in a state to have them used quite frequently. I'm surprised you're so passionate about regaining your throne. By all accounts, you were quite rubbish as an empress. Huh. Trash talk. It's also a nice opportunity because I like that I've been able to like use bullets and like uh, other lethal stuff against the clockwork soldiers. It's been a very enjoyable indeed. So many places I wanted to visit with you. Silver graph a developing tray. Oh god. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm seeing what you're doing. I know where I am. We've circled around here. How thrilling. Okay. Um, there's still a clockwork soldier trapped in the floor, so why don't we see how that goes? Because I think I can get under this floor and get these bone charms. Everything has a purpose. It's all yeah, look. Registered. That is very funny. General detection state. Display back in... With some detection without certainty. This playback indicates a false positive. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in the room in this scenario yet. When this plays, check um. central rotor. Ooh. Playback indicates lost enemy. I'm getting zapped. Okay. Oh no. The very pinnacle of invention. Enemy evasion. Successful. The machine has lost its quarry. Oh, 
with the sound of them shattering and getting under my skin. Hee <laughs> hee. We're wiping him out, fella. So we found his uh, photographic development room. I guess uh, if you get trapped in here, that button makes the stuff happen. Um, okay. And now we activate this and we go under the floors. Shifting the walls and floors as if you were born here. Clever. Or are you just moving things at random? Oh. Okay. This actually... Okay, I was expecting this to go somewhere. Uh, so this is actually hilarious that I did correctly trap that soldier in a way that he had no way out of you. That's hilarious, actually. Okay. I'll find my way to these rune charms somehow. Hardiness. Hardiness. Maximum health is increased. Just a general health increase there. Um, I'll just do that while we literally do not have wolfhounds abound. I honestly wonder if you believe you can make a difference. I've seen so many perish in this house. Okay, I think I, I see the the way that I can get in, I think. So, if we send that down, and then go up here, we can start going here, here, open up this hatch. In her, and then I can. Ugh, why won't? Come, come on. And then this is where we could have turned off the Hello, pylon. I can't sense your weight on the floor, so the sound of your breathing anymore. But it seems like a reasonable guess that somehow you've gotten beyond the inner walls of the house. We are. We have a bone shot. And it is called Unsteady Hand. Enemies miss with fired projectiles more often, which is... That's good. I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Um, let's do that. Last words. To whoever might find this, are you trapped? I know only too well your situation. You see, these are my last words. I found a spot away from the clutches of those things, but for what? I have no food, no water, and now I grow weak. If there was a chance of escape, then I have missed it. Even writing this note saps any strength I had left. I thought I could beat this contraption, this terrible house, this thing that Jindosh has built, but it has beaten me. If only I had thought to bring water or a morsel of bread. And so I say goodbye to you, my reckless friend. Perhaps you too will die here. I'm sorry for that. If I become a ghost, then I will try to help you. Otherwise, fare thee well. Stanislav Shepard. Juggler, musician, thief, braggart, and surely a fool. <laughs> yeah. I leave you with one blood fly as a gift. Do not map the f mop the floors while the arc pylon is active, whether you understand conductivity or not. <laughs> okay, we're in the inner workings of the house now, and there exists to me a rune and nothing more. Okay, in we go. Is this how we potentially make our way to him? Maybe? We have windows. Ah, I see. Indeed. Oh, yep, sure. That's fine. Please grab at your earliest convenience. I am playing by the rules here. Okay. We are now here. Where is here? I do not know. I really hope you don't fall and die out there. You can keep your coins. Can't be bothered to open the door again. 
I see, so that's that window. The waiting room. This is new, I think. All of your workshops, your little house of tricks. More inner workings of the house. I love the uh, all the signs. <laughs> on the outside as well, navigating around. Okay. Um, well, this says exit, so there's the carriage. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is proper exit, so I won't do that. Um, we're going to try and find our way to Mr. Jindosh. And I believe that most of our uh, members here, our guards have been taken care of, which is funny because we do not have keys to navigate this place. I play piano. <laughs> no commentary from Jindosh on my piano playing skills. paintings have we got so far? We've got like one. Oh I see there's the table. That goes to the kitchen. Okay. This is the bedroom. So I think one of the closest shots we had at getting to his area was that breakable door. Um, we just don't have the key to that. So that's about as close as we, we can get. So we go back this way when we, where our journey first started. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Okay, so we don't have the we don't have the maintenance key. Uh, we have not been good at our key retrieval. Uh, however, this is a different elevator, and have we been to every level in this elevator? I do not think that we have. Uh, so, office. Did we ride this all the way to the top? Ah, yep, this is... Yes. Okay. Machine is experiencing uncertainty. This playback indicates a false positive. We're going to take ourselves down a level. So yeah, this is the elevator that we have not accessed properly. So this is the lab. something. Something tripped the detection rig unduly. Unduly. Okay. At the last, Imperial Majesty, you found me. Do you realize you're only the second person to set foot in this room, the most sophisticated laboratory in the Isles? Please, try not to damage anything. I entered combat. Clockwork soldiers, dispatch this intruder. This must be the electroshock machine Jindosh mentioned. Goddamn General Grievous! Oh, 
Um, hello? Sticky grenade. Run. Hell yeah. What was that? Oh, he's still alive. That's crazy. <laughs> he's running around. This is fun. Yeah, you sure about that? Okay. Um, that's this fun combat. Okay, so the rune is underneath. Is there a lever in here to change this room as well? I'm sure that there is. Um, it should be just easy enough to um, incapacitate the man. And then we can play around with things. Oh, platforms. Okay, hold on. That's how we get underneath. Understandable. Have a nice day. I got my rune. Okay. Letter from Delilah. Kieran, you ask what the void looks and feels like? If it can be measured like a real place. Here's my answer. Don't concern yourself with such matters. It is as real as anything I've ever experienced. But if you understood it, you'd know that such a statement makes as little sense as saying that I've been dead. The void is unspeakable, it is infinite, and it is nowhere, ever changing and perpetual. There are more things in the endless black void, Kieran Jindosh, than are dreamt in your natural philosophy. Leave aside things beyond your reach, and be content that you are gifted with more insight than the common man. Yes. Dead or trapped in a, a painting? Continuing to explore around. It's very interesting in this place. So I'm assuming we need to bring up the correct contraption uh, to use on Jindosh. Just having a good, healthy. Oh god. Just having a good, healthy look around. I found the maintenance key. So, you weren't actually supposed to find the maintenance key um, to get in here that way, apparently. Okay. Um. So now we can do this, we can unlock that, we can also do this. Which brings down platforms. Wow, this is this is cool. Watching that all, watching that shift, that mechanism is really fun. I think we should probably go for the elevator because at least that way we can try and get rid of this clockwork soldier. Try and go for a indicate some detection without certainty. An air assassination. The machine concludes here. There's nothing for playback for What just happened? I hope you enjoy blowing. Goodbye, Majesty. At least you got the I, I jumped and went to go for the air assassination, but it it did not work. It did not work. Hold on a minute. You jump and you do a lethal, right? Yeah. Let's try again. Machine is experiencing uncertainty. Okay, and then return to idle. No, no, no. Go and investigate. Clockwork huh. is scouting. Come on. What are you doing out there? Come on, come in here. There we go. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. 
That worked this time. You didn't explode randomly. Okay. You're proceeding to now walk out. But <laughs> you will not bother anyone ever again. Okay. It's waltzing into... Off it goes. All right, disabled. Kieran Jindosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to get behind him and choke him out. He's taking his time to turn around. Is he actually coming to investigate? He might be coming to investigate instead. Peeking. He's walking. Okay. He's finally walking. Search the office very carefully. Oh god, why are you doing that? I was trying to get to the chandelier, it was not looking at the right thing. Okay, he's going this way. Alright, so I will grab you. Gotcha. Very well. Very good. Time to put him in the electroshock machine. He has been rendered unconscious. Okay. Ooh, all the iterations and progress of the helmet. Light along the inverse curve is mine. Very good. Conditioning Sokolov. I tire with dealing my, with my old teacher. I'm confident that I don't need him to simplify the design of the clockwork soldier, but without Sokolov it could take years. Uh to reduce the cost of each clockwork, to design a version that can be built with cheaper, more readily available materials and assembled by Duke of Bell's half-witted factory workers, the Duke will get his clockwork army. I'll make sure of that. The question is when. I'll keep experimenting with the electroshock machine, trying to get it just right, and if Circle of can't be made to help me, I'll continue using the machine on him anyway as entertainment. Jesus. That's so brutal. Uh, so... I guess there is multiple conditioning Circle of notes to uh, play around with. He's got multiple thoughts about that one. Note to Kieran Jindosh. Kieran, it's my hope that the pale stars look down with favor upon your attempts to gain Sokolov's favor. But if the old goat will not bend to your will, I can offer an alternative to merely keeping him locked in your assessment chamber and subjecting him to cruel electrotherapy. I've started a new effigy cast in Sokolov's shape. Given time, I believe it might grant me some influence over your esteemed guest, Brianna. Yo. And... That's not the first time we've seen Brianna's name popping up either, so I expect we'll get into that at some point. Okay, anything else for us to investigate while we are up here, perchance? Looks like a bunch of machinery. Alright, let's carry you. Let's get you down here, shall we? Good thing you're still unconscious and you didn't die. <laughs> I... Ah, the electroshock machine. Wonderful. Look at this piece of technology. This looks fun. Let's put you in here and wake you up, shall we? Place him in the machine or leave the machine alone. What's, it, what's interesting is, um, if I have a look... Place him in the machine, power the machine. So, yeah, this is the, the full non-lethal element. All right, get in. Oh wow, okay, here and uh, here we go. We don't even get to have him be awake for this one. Playback indicates Anton Rothenine, once the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In your prime, the most sought after painter in all the Empire. My hero in younger days. Now, my puppet. If you're going to use this inelegant looking device against me, Get on with it, Jindosh. Though I'm not sure what you hope to accomplish. I must admit to feeling a bit of professional curiosity as to the function of the apparatus. Patience, friend. Patience. The sequence of events is important. You'll come to understand my electroshock machine, but when? Before or after that light leaves your eyes? And where does it go when it disappears? 
Who will tell me that? Has anyone ever loved the sound of his own voice as much as you do, Kieran? Perhaps the device could tell us that. No, sadly, it cannot. But what it can do is take from you the thing you love the most. Your precious intellect. If you won't agree to collaborate on the next clockwork prototype, I'll use the device on that brain of yours, Sokolov. I refuse. If I'm to be a drooling idiot, at least I won't be bothered by any more of your rambling theory. Damn. Okay. Um... Sheesh. Electroshock power switch. There it is. Now, we're in a we're in a lab. Part of me feels as if we are able to find a blueprint in here. I've got a feeling that we should be able to find one. Unless there's only the one blueprint we've already found. Powering the electroshock machine. Note to self, there is insufficient power to operate the electroshock machine. Until this is rectified, I will have to compensate, freeing up more power for the electroshock machine by configuring the other platforms so they draw the least power. The I see. The machines are draining away too much electricity. Well, I'm looking for some blueprints. Let's see if I can find one around here. Oh. Oh, and then we'll be able to leave out that way with the fancy pants thing. Where's this go? An unfinished letter on legacy. Honestly, I bear no ill will towards Emily Coldwin or her father, the Royal Protector. I've never given a single fig for any of those palace-born nobles in Dunwall, so how could I think ill of one empress or another? You would not be incorrect in suggesting that my motivations for assisting the Duke were at least twofold. I wanted to advance the causes of natural philosophy for the sake of the work itself, and to show these stodgy morons at the Academy the light that they very nearly extinguished. Further, of course, I'm no stranger to infamy, and in fact I am fond of it. But there's more driving the engines of my desire. Dynasties rise and fall with the ages, through mundane catalysts such as famine, plague, or bankruptcy. Now, however, we live in a time that is being shaped by genius, such as just as Roseborough, Sokolov, Joplin, and Hypatia have set the wheels of history spinning with their contributions, so will Kieran Jindosh. And it is my goal to eclipse those who came before me. No matter how the history books record the tale regarding this turn in power, it must be stated that it was only possible through advances in industry and technological exploration. Power now rests in the hands of the brilliant, and the world will never be the same. Nice. This is the uh, positives of having um, Jindosh dealt with, is we can now just uh, take a bit of a wander and see what we can pick up here. Like this. Look at them all together. So, we got our crown killer. We got the Duke, we got Jindosh, we got Delilah? Question mark. I can't investigate this one like you can investigate the others. This room is new. Okay. Oh, no. There you go. This is Brianna Ashworth. Brianna Ashworth. Also involved. So many events in motion, each exerting subtle gravity. With Delilah, a new empire could be drawn and all the old barriers broken. Much could be accomplished. My clockwork soldiers have played their part, but each costs more coin than a wealthy man sees in a lifetime. It could take years to find a solution on my own, but if Sokolov can be tamed, together we might refine the process, making new clockworks at a fraction of the cost. Whether I seduce my old teacher with the thrill of discovery, or whether I'm forced to apply the clamps to his flesh and turn on the voltage, no matter. Damn. It's also wild how many uh, silver graph rooms he has. Oh, and back here. Oh, hang on. Is this a triple one? Oh, there's two levers. Huh. Clever. Okay. 
that's fun. So this is a triple room. Yeah, wow, amazing. Hey, I look upon the craftsman. I got a painting. Lovely. I'm still looking for a uh, potential blueprint. I'll keep doing this because this looks interesting. Okay, we'll go down and we'll check this out. Money. Okay, and then our button to get back up. Ha! Kieran Jindos has been banned for life from the Academy. And there you go. Okay, so we got a little money chamber. Here. A reflection of my journey, Pendicin Continent 3, which we do not need. We've read that. It's hard to look around because the the areas are so busy a lot of the time, like there's so much going on. So it's pretty hard to like be trying to see what items stand out occasionally. Jindosh entry on whalebone. Today I'll raise the anatomy platform, bring it up to the laboratory floor, but I can resume my work evaluating the rune artifact. Even as a man dedicated to natural philosophy, I must admit that my association with the occultist, Brianna Ashworth, has renewed my interest in the study of whalebone. Given what I've seen over the past three years working with Brianna, I cannot entirely dispel the idea that the bones of the Leviathans possess unusual properties. When pressed, she speaks in the meaningless palaver of the spiritualist. In an attempt to find answers on my own, I've procured one of the so-called rune artifacts, considered heretical, of course, by the narrow minds of the Abbey. However, thus far, my examinations have netted nothing of interest. A sample of human tissue affected by these runes might reveal more. Were I able to get, say, the jawbone of one of those poor sods burned alive by the overseers? Damn. Okay, so time to assemble power. So I guess we need to lower this down. Woodcraft would have like no power associated with it, yeah. Um, so is is that enough then? Am I able to uh Am I able to do this if there's no power in here? I have to transfer the power to something else. All right, let's try it. Not enough power. Oh, not enough power. Okay. It's time to move all of these around. An amazing mechanism, this. believe we have enough the power. Shock machine should work now. Okay. Uh, wonderful. I'm glad that the game tells us so we're not constantly guessing. 
All right, Jindosh, let's have fun, shall we? No, no, no! You don't know what you're doing! Anything! I'll give you anything you want! Stop! Don't do this! So much will be lost in age of advancement! Too bad it had to come to this, Jindosh. Is he a baby now? And if I combine the acid against a copper plate, it... What does it do? His little thumb vape is no more. A moment ago. Does anyone know the answer? The grand inventor has been reduced to a puddle. Unfortunate. I had an idea. But it's gone now. Okay. He's done. And we may now leave. Why do I feel like there's going to be a blueprint that we've missed. I just feel it. In a grand inventor's mission, having only one blueprint found feels like a mistake. Alas, I have combed this mansion quite enough. I am ready to go. We will now leave this dastardly place. I think we've done quite well. I enjoyed this uh, Clockwork Mansion so much. This was so fun, actually. A great level to navigate. I love the movements of the rooms and how the level shifts and the Clockwork Soldiers are absolutely terrifying. We may finally leave and return to Megan Foster. All right, mate, how's your nap going? Going well. Um, we will go to the lower district. I believe that's where we're supposed to be going. All the way home. <laughs> Give him a good night's sleep. So unfortunate how much he's been beaten up. We've been gone for so long, it feels like an eternity. <laughs> Hopefully all the guards are still asleep here. Okay. 90 meters away. Away we go. Everyone's still sleeping soundly. Very good. I have lost a critical ally. Anton Sokolov zapped in the wall of light. That is green. It's friendly. I guess uh, Anton Sokolov has been killed by one of his own inventions. Dude. Duke of Sokolov. Insane child empress is gone. The age of Delilah is underway. But the danger hasn't passed. That's so funny. So, your kids goodbye this morning. Uh, so Sokolov uh, is not um, <laughs> able to go through the wall of light. Um, that's very funny. Ooh. Who are these people? You know what I forgot to do that we should have done is um, using the heart on um, Jindosh. I forgot. Oh, hello. These are Brigmore witches. Right on. Oh, there's one right there. Creepy. 
gonna let them chill out. We'll leave. <laughs> we don't need to involve ourselves with the witches. How do I have two? Oh no, that's Sokolov's objective. Okay. God, it feels like so long since we've been here. We return. I have your old man. You did it. How is he? He's frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. All right, let's go to the Dreadful Whale. Let's go then. Time to go. Uh, let's have a look at our mission here. Overall chaos level is still low, but uh, we have a lethal assault thing here, but that is also because What's interesting is we have lethality, like hostiles killed, right? Looking at this, we did kill quite a few clockwork soldiers. There was a few guards that died, but definitely not 11. Okay, well, you're all dead now. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like it does count the clockwork soldiers. Interesting. Um, we were detected uh, zero times, which is very good. Um, there was four blueprints in total. So I reckon there would have been one more blueprint in the mansion. All the paintings, shrines, bone charms, runes, lovely. That's quite good. Discovered Kirin Jindosh's hidden repository by manipulating the walls of the Clockwork Mansion. Killed the leader of the Howlers once. Oh, a man of the people. That's an actual special action. Blasted your way through the walls of the Black Market Shop and robbed the ticket booth at the Aventa Carriage Station. Lovely. And now we continue and we are back. Another strange visit. You've awakened with a strange feeling. Another visit from an outsider, perhaps. Oh, it's definitely the highlight of the game so far. It's such a enjoyable uh, level to navigate. So we're apparently going to have a little bit of a, a vision, a little bit of a talk with the outsider, but that will be for next time. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dishonored 2. Had a had a great time. Don't know what else to say, really. Just great environments, great enemies, uh, incredible level design very very enjoyable i cannot wait to continue and see how this story progresses as we begin to dismantle this corrupt power that has taken over dunwall thank you so much for watching today i'll see you next time